eager viewers sorry for the long video uh, on the test data part one but i'll sh that really helps you to make sure you are going to play with the test data using any test that's the reason i wanted you to understand it much more uh, if at all you are done with the uh, previous part come come here okay uh, now we'll do the game changing thing using test data okay really it's a game changer if you ask me uh, okay so let me first start with changing the name of this test this test is doing a record and play for us uh, on what on blaze demo okay and having said that moving on uh, so in the previous session which we show you this particular part of it now let's add up the spice now we are using one test data added one more and stating uh this to india and this uh, the city name to be uh vishakapatnam okay and the uh, faker a faker data flag you saw it is true and uh, fake some faker names are coming uh, but right now we'll you will make this false and see the essence of uh, this okay so that what happens is in one test you'll see this data the first name being Varun and second being Hyderabad and the other test you'll be seeing India and Vishakapatnam okay and now how to do that now hey this test this is the uh, cons which is being exported no from the test data file okay so what i will do is when you say me you say me what should we do now imagine uh, let's think on these terms why should i uh complicate my things every time stating what first this will uh, take zero only so this will only run the first test data how will i get the second test data which is indexed at one do you want me to keep this as one and execute then what is essence right there is no much essence on this okay if i keep both of these one and execute it will run the second part only second part but uh, imagine in your case okay your in your case for example okay you have to run for every city in the country then you sit to sit in the sit at the laptop or desktop and modify this uh, indexes one two three four let's say united states out of all 55 you'll keep first one then two then three you, you don't do that right even if that's not the case that's where we talk about those programming concepts of for loop right okay for loop uh, now we have advanced to for each loop okay so let's go ahead and do the relevant modifications on the test okay clicking enter here i'm waiting okay first i'll call this particular uh, constant uh, array okay in this array what i have what i'll do is i'll click just do a dot and type for each that's what we got progressed right so what is this for each it is just like a for loop okay the what does it have it has it will have a what is it it is actually a callback function it's expecting either one or two arguments but not zero it seems so what is the first argument let's say we call it as ind and the other one to be um index some some random names okay uh, ind comma index okay um, then these are nothing but arguments okay uh, i'll be closing this for loop no just because i opened above the test i will be closing this below the test the error will be gone as you see uh just saved it okay error is gone hmm it is not throwing error here you know why because this is uh the, it, is, it needs two arguments and we are passing the two arguments if you have a question what are these two arguments click on the for each loop or hover onto it you'll see there uh that 
it is a it is a callback function a function that accepts up to three arguments for each calls the callback function one time for each element in the array okay and the second one is org this is arg an object to which this keyword can refer to call by function if the org is omitted undefined is okay uh, yeah i understood that it is kind of a greek and latin but i'll help you understand in simple words this ind stands for number of objects or number of iterations so how many iteration I mean, how many objects are there in this how many objects first object second object basically zeroth index and the first index there are two things right so is ind stands for one object and i index stands for the count it is just like our count how many iterations it is going on zeroth iteration first iteration correct okay so if i write zero it will not be that good that's the reason why i'll be writing it as index plus one which will be the uh, iteration value okay now i'll be removing this single quote be, uh, because when i type dollar and this uh, okay is this doesn't get activated you need to use a back tick when you use dollar it is a null check basically that's the reason now previously you saw the error right that says duplicate stuff now the duplicate would be gone mm. but now uh, the issue has been resolved but still the execution will be an issue because you have to modify at this location so what we have taught talked initially the ind stands for the first object okay first object itself is ind going forward so i don't need to write this particular entire stuff i just call ind dot first name and call ind dot city sorry ind dot city this is the magic which is going to happen okay if i execute this i'll show you in one or two versions okay uh, I, I will be writing npx playwright test which we are in test folder slash we are in test folder right so test folder slash b uh, tab hyphen hyphen headed hyphen hyphen project uh, we gave project as a blaze demo we are running it on chrome browser okay blaze demo space hyphen hyphen workers equal to one if at all we are trying to execute workers equal to one what does this test actually do imagine yourself I mean, just think what happens pause and think that's okay good uh help me understand help you uh, let me help you uh here what happens is when we keep workers equal to one that will execute first test case once so two tests will be running against one test case one te first test with this test data second test with this sec this test data and clicking on and uh clicking on enter uh i kept a pause you know in the previous video also at this location after entering city okay we'll it will stop at city and we can see the first test case should be having Varun and Hyderabad second would be having India and Vishakapatnam and now as I mentioned prior two tests with using one worker so the first one started okay San Diego Rome started the third one Varun and Hyderabad okay pretty much cool I'm continuing this here so called uh a bit stuck okay yeah cool then the second test would be the same test data but india and vishak pattern would be added correct as you see here okay okay continue okay now the execution part uh i mentioned you right you work on those things now i give the workers as to clicking on enter would actually uh, show me two different tabs with two tests okay running parallelly now this is the parallel execution uh, see how good this is you have india and vishakapatnam second test and varun and hyderabad the first test running parallelly 
when you use work is equal to two. The parallel execution is like a charm going on in playwright. Okay, uh, with struct. Okay, first just is he okay. cool. So if it all uh, and now if you see the report, npx playwright show hyphen report. Yeah, they got in play blaze demo one and two. Remember this? Uh, thought of showing you earlier. Uh, we modified using uh, back ticks and all index plus one index just like a count right count in the count count plus plus we do in java same stuff ind stands for the number of iterations place demo one two this is how we get data i mean the report here so interesting mm. so this is how we play with test data uh, you always keep this in mind you use this for for each loop outside so that you, you don't need to worry about or get tense about modifying test data each and every time tomorrow if at all you wanted to add add one more test here one more test data here okay and uh, if at all you wanted to make this true you make it true that's okay uh, and uh, so some other name you wanted to keep You keep uh, San Jose, and then if at all you run this, Control C to stop the execution. Tuck, tuck. Parallel three workers three I kept right now. It executes at a charm with three test cases. Maybe I'll stop it once because I remove this. So I remove the page dot pause. Now running uh, three parallel tests. Uh, one test case only with three test different test data three process got open parallelly how fast is this so fast yeah thank you so these are all about test data eager viewers